To understand a tsunami, you first have to think about earthquakes and volcanoes. Earthquakes and volcanoes can happen underwater, not just on land. And when they happen under the ocean, they can cause the Earth's tectonic plates to move against each other and release a lot of pressure. Tectonic plates are slabs of rock in Earth's crust. This pressure can create ripples of water that build up and turn into giant waves, which is what a tsunami is. Underwater landslides and meteorite impacts can also be powerful enough to create this pressure, but most tsunamis are caused by earthquakes. Usually, there are several waves that form the tsunami, and this is called a wave train. A wave train can create a lot of damage as the waves reach shore. People and animals can be badly hurt because the water rushing into land is extremely powerful and destructive. Buildings and cars can be knocked down and even carried away by the water. Tsunamis can also cause shipwrecks, damaged crops, unsafe drinking water, and fires from broken gas lines. Coastal countries surrounding the Pacific Ocean Basin are the most likely to have tsunamis. These coastal areas make up what is known as the Ring of Fire. The tectonic plates beneath these areas experience a lot of shifting. Indonesia and Japan are two countries in the Ring of Fire that have experienced very strong tsunamis throughout history. The 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake caused a tsunami with waves reaching as high as 100 feet. That's about as tall as a 10-story building. This tsunami affected many people in the countries of India, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, and Thailand. Ever since 1946, the tsunami warning system has worked hard to provide warnings about possible tsunamis. Scientists monitor earthquake activity and measure waves out in the ocean. Real-time deep ocean tsunami detectors are a recent invention that has also helped people predict tsunami damage. Early warning is very important because it gives people enough time to evacuate or find higher ground. Okay, let's review what we've learned. Tsunamis are destructive waves most often caused by undersea earthquakes, and there are usually multiple waves called a wave train. Most tsunamis happen in the Ring of Fire, which is an area around the Pacific Ocean Basin, where the tectonic plates move around a lot. Scientists study earthquake activity to predict tsunamis and give people enough warning to find safety from incoming tsunamis.